Hello everybody, welcome to Norcross, Georgia. Yeah, buddy, we're on the north side of Atlanta, Georgia. We're gonna do north side, Doroville, Norcross. This area here is, um, it's outside of Atlanta city limits, but it's part of the Atlanta metropolitan area. Yeah. We're gonna start here at this gas station. And this is a great place. If you like Mexican food, yeah. Jose, have you met me? <laughs> that was the best Mexican baker I've ever seen. So I was pumping yeah. gas at this gas station. And they got a seafood place here too. I could not resist the smell. So guys, this is Northside Hunts of Atlanta. Yeah, we're not within city limits. We're not gonna be within city limits, but it's the Atlanta metro area. And we're within, uh, we're gonna show you guys Latino uh, or diversity hoods really, because there's not just Latinos here. A little bit of everything out here. Tell um, me about the inside of the bakery. What it's the called cakes Dulce like? Sueños, <laughs> and the smell is intoxicating. Like I was out here in this parking lot, and I was like, "Wow, I could not resist going in there." I was like, "I hope he gets me some vanilla cake." But so we're gonna show you guys. <laughs> uh, were good too. When you think about Atlanta hoods, you might just think about you know inner city Atlanta, but there's actually a lot of hoods in the Atlanta metro area that are kind of like this, which is like a diversity hood it means. You got like Pakistanians, you got like Asians, you got Latinos. It's like a diverse hood. So I just want to give you guys another type of Atlanta hood that you know most people aren't focusing. When they show you Atlanta hoods, they're showing you uh, just certain things. I want to show you that there's more to Atlanta hoods than just that. And in case you're wondering, the word hood means neighborhood. Okay, it's a more informal word of neighborhood. For some reason. You have some people that think that the word hood only means bad black area. And that is so not true. Uh, you have uh, hoods that are white. You have... Hood is just short for neighborhood, okay? It's an informal word for neighborhood. So it's a neighborhood that's a little bit more uh, informal. It's more street. And um, there's hoods all over the world, okay? course people in America especially in the United States and in the south have this backwards narrow ignorant mindset but and they'll, they'll make comments like that because their their mindset is very narrow but if you travel across America you you know actually the whole world there's hoods in Pakistan there's hoods in India I'm in Cuba we got hoods in Cuba where I'm from we got we got hoods like anywhere else mm -hmm. crap when I visit Cuba my family lives in a hood so uh, people in the United States just have these, in the Deep South specifically, have these just narrow mindsets where everything is black and white. No, there's a whole array of color out there. So I can already see somebody saying, no, it's not a hood, man. Hood means neighborhood. The word hood is short for neighborhood, and it just means an urban place that has a community. And that's what this is right here. So this is a hood, and it is Atlanta because we're in the Atlanta metro area. So I know for some people, uh, who don't know how to read, they've never heard of a metropolitan area. This is a metropolitan area. It's part of a, you know, larger city. Uh, so I can already tell you that the title of this video is going to make some people upset because they're narrow-minded. But if you don't like my video, make your own. I don't have to tell you. But yes, this area, uh, Norcross and Doroville, when you look it up on the internet, people ask questions like, is it the hood? They use the G word, which I, I avoid on this channel, um, because that word just has a different nasty connotation to it. Um, I, I like the word hood because it's a shorter version of neighborhood. In fact, the word hood comes from neighborhood. It's just a shorter way of saying neighborhood. People really struggle with that word on this on this channel. It seems like people on YouTube. YouTube yeah, they want to be the, the, what do you call it, the, yeah, something like that. But yes, this is in fact a neighborhood. We're on Buford Highway, which is the northeast side of Atlanta, the north side playground. I'm not sure if we're in Gwinnett County anymore. I think we've left Gwinnett County at this point. But it's definitely an urban area, as you can see, and it's part of the Atlanta metro area. And most of the diversity in Atlanta is here. But as you move into this area, you switch up to just mostly, uh, mostly Asian and Latino. Lots of different businesses here. <clears throat> and 
this region of Atlanta, northeast of Atlanta, is like there's a Dominican place right there. Is the most diverse um, place in the whole South. This is uh, demographically the most diverse area in the whole southern region of the United States. Only Houston, only Houston, Texas comes close mm -hmm. to this. What you got? What do you think about that bakery? Oh, my Dulce gosh. Dulce Sueños. The arepas. Oh, so good. Obviously, Dulce Sueños means sweet dreams. But, you know, or sweet, you know, you know, it's a play on words. Just like in English, sweet dreams. Because sweets is basically the same thing as Dulce. Whatever the crap it's called, it's good. Mm -hmm. I'm pumping gas, and I put my window down, and I was like, oh... You can just smell the fresh bread. We got arepas. Let's see what we got here. I already ate one arepa. Katie wanted to eat the other one. It's like, hold it for a treat for later. We got arepas, which is a Colombian thing. Which is kind of like, I don't know what's in the arepa. I got sweet bread and regular bread. Let's I haven't tried the sweet bread. Let's, let's eat the sweet bread. Let's eat half of it. Not the whole thing. Break that in half. Oh, it smells so good. Maybe no, let's split it in half. Mm. Paul, Dulce Espanol Cakes, $53.95, Buford Highway, North Cross, Georgia. Man, that stuff is good. Oh my gosh, so good. Mm. That is a good Mexican bakery. By the way, does anybody know of any exceptional Mexican bakery? If you know an exceptional Mexican bakery that you can recommend to us, Go ahead and go for it, because we are always looking for good bakers. Mm. The Cuban Cafe. Mm. Mm. Get Cuban later. Yeah. Cuban, Dominican, mm. Vietnamese. What's this place right here? Nice man. La Imperial. Bro, there's so much different food around here. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm telling you, Atlanta might be where we need to be. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, anytime you got a place where you got this much diversity, the food is gonna be exceptional. You can never You can never get bored. Whoa, whoa, why did it stop me? What because of that car. That car slamming on the brakes cost my car to stop. Isn't that crazy? Mm -hmm. This thing's got like built in safety features where if it thinks there's an accident about to happen, it just stops your car. Mm -hmm. That could cause an accident. No. It's got sensors behind it too. This thing's got 10 airbags. Uh, is this train going to take forever? No. Mm, okay. If it does, we gotta get rolling somewhere else. Or you turn. Konyo Sur. What? Wow, that's an offensive name. Oh, Konyo Sur. These are all local, so they probably know. Haven't you noticed, like, when something's gonna take a long time, the locals start, start pulling U turns? Yeah. Yeah, and there's no U turns. Mm -hmm. I don't know. He's <laughs> just got a little tiny little bike. Mm hmm. Hmm. I think it might. People are not pulling out. We don't out. need to go that way. Let me see my evergreen. This is a freestyle drop. We can do anything. Let me see where we're at. People are actually pulling up. Well, people in Atlanta are kind of slow. They don't know any better. Look at this little guy. Is that? There's no way that's actually really good. He's got a license plate on it. Mm -hmm. Oof, look at that box truck. Oh, wow. Yeah, um, <laughs> yeah, we don't really have a specific, well, how's the train track? Right through there. Hmm. Yeah, it stopped. Let's go this way. It stopped. Yeah, we don't really have a specific thing in mind. We can go ahead and turn around. The train actually stopped, so this will be a while. They're, they're turning around, see? Now they're all turning around. 
They're all turning around when the train stopped there, but it's What is all this stuff? They're leaf blowing. <laughs> There's a neighborhood back in here. It looks like normal houses though. And a haunt show. I guess we're just doing North Cross. I was gonna do Doraville and all that, but with uh train. Train, yeah, forget it. Curiosity, let's see what these neighborhoods look like in here. Wow, perfect rushing. <coughs> let's see what the residential areas look like. Uh, is that residential? Yeah, there's houses back there. They're behind all the businesses. Excuse me. Uh, this does no, not. There's, no, there's, it's not. Yeah. It's all commercial. That's what I'm saying. We missed, uh, there was a turn for the residential area, but we missed it. Okay. This is what it looks like. Huh. Cars and crap. Back here. Let's go around. Yeah, just turn around here. There's a church back here. Mm. Seems like a very dignified place to gather. <laughs> no par. No parking, man. Mm -hmm. Remember that? <laughs> no parking. Yeah. That was stupid. We had a neighbor, and they, they they put up a sign. They wanted to say no parking on their driveway, but they didn't know how to write English, so they wrote no no parking. With well, just a no P A P A C I N G, no packing, no packing, man. So they were, every night we, when they were outside, we'd go outside and make fun of them. Man, no, no packing, man. No packing here, man. I think one time you like brought a box and a bunch of things and, and started packing start... stuff in the driveway. Yeah. yeah, I'm horrible. I really am. No, it's hilarious. Sabor de la plata. Catering service broke down. Bro, that Mexican. Mexican bakery. Unbelievable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this area's got good food. That's one thing countryside can't compete with. Mm -hmm. Hood food. Mm -hmm. There's nothing better than hood food. Mm -hmm. Well, small towns usually throw it down pretty good with American food. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to hood, you know... The suburbs usually lose when it comes to food. Mm -hmm. I like my food really fresh. So yeah, small towns do all right. Small towns to go with American food, like like you know, like just you know, like small towns and hoods got the best food. That's, mm -hmm. there's, no, there's no doubt about that. But really, like places like this that are kind of hood, hole in the wall Mexican places and stuff. You know, near, tamale near, house where the workers eat. Yeah, that's a whole different thing. There's an apartment complex back in here. These are the type of places that are gonna. I want to find what the hoods look like and the residential parts look like. But well, there's an apartment complex back there, but it doesn't look too bad, does it? No. I mean, it looks older, but yeah, it doesn't, doesn't look, look like bad. Down. Yeah, it doesn't look like. It's not covered photo material. <laughs> well, that train ruined our plans for today. Maybe it works out better. Yeah, Norcross City, I'm saying. I guess we're in Doraville. We got a Takaria and Poposaria. Mm hmm. Over there. So, if we were just going to go straight to. Are we from Stone Mountain? Did we do a video there? Yeah, we did. Did it do well? Years ago, I don't remember it doing I think we well. didn't do a video. I think we drove through there. I think we drove there. through the town, but we didn't go into the mountain. Yeah. Let's go into, um, let's go to Athens. We're gonna do where we ain't. Let's go to Athens. We've been beating around the bush here in Atlanta. We ain't gotten nowhere done. Usually, these type of suburban videos don't really do all that well. Abogado del pueblo, el delincuente más grande que ha caminado por Atlanta, quiere defenderte. Up ahead, you're going to get on 85. Personal opinion is clear. And it'll be on the left. How 
far away from? Like an hour. What? What's, 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 what's it taking us to really get there? 85. Stupid car almost made me crash, man. Unbelievable. If you, if you pass a car without using a turn signal, mm -hmm. it's like the whole steering wheel kind of pulls you in the other direction. How do you turn off the safety features in this car? I want to be safe. I want to be safe. How do you turn off the safety features? Takes us to Dacula. Bethlehem. Bethlehem, New Jersey. Through Braselton and Jefferson. Those are the ones that go 85. Well, we already went to Lawrenceville. Yeah. No point in doing that. Yeah. Hmm. Hour and 13 minutes. Athens is in a really crappy spot, man. Yeah. <laughs> It's like there's no real practical way of getting that. No, no wonder nobody's done it. Mm -hmm. There's literally no practical way to get to that town. We gotta be the first to do it though. Yeah. yeah I don't understand why nobody's done it. Mm -hmm. Doesn't make any sense. This thing wants to take us to Lawrenceville. We're already in Lawrenceville. To do that nice black area. Well, yeah. In a quarter mile, turn left but onto it's, the ramp. It's if it's not through. possible, it's not possible. We've done a video out there, so it's not like we have it. Yeah, but we didn't it. label it the right way. True. We didn't label it the right way. Uh, what's where we're going here? 85 North. Mm -hmm. okay, I wanted to show like the rich black area, but I don't think we're gonna no. be able to do it. And, I mean, just to get to Stone Mountain, it's going to take us 30 minutes. It's all red. It's only 7 miles. It's not far. Okay, 21 minutes. We could do it. There's another Pittsburgh. There's two Pittsburghs. Mm -hmm. Pittsburgh. Stone Mountain and the bottom. Okay, we're going we're gonna to do it. We're going to go to Stone Mountain. Head southeast on Georgia 140 East Jimmy Carter Boulevard. You are on the best route despite some traffic. You will arrive at 3.42 p.m. Okay. So this is Norcross. So what we're doing is we'll keep going. Mm -hmm. I want to record that Raban. No, it's Raban. It's Raban. It's Raban. It's Raban. Ah, that's a proper pronunciation. I know I just can't get it right. <sighs> But we should also consider getting out of the metropolitan area before traffic. Mm -hmm. It's already 3.30. Mm -hmm. We should really head out. That's the Continue other problem. Continue for seven miles. So, uh, we should really consider getting out. I think we should just do it and get out. Yeah, Athens. It's going to get bad, yeah. If we stay in this area, like, I want to do it, but I feel like if I stay here, traffic mm -hmm. is going to get so bad within the next little bit. So we just need to get going. It sucks. Yeah, and then after what we're gonna do afterward, I guess. Gotcha. All right, guys. That's Norcross, Georgia.